binging decreases blood flow to the brain, impacting the progression of vascular related diseases such as Alzheimer's. Now, UT Health San Antonio researchers working with other institutions found that a particular drug can modify blood flow and that could be a boon to treating memory diseases. Age is the greatest known risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. And so we study the mechanisms that link brain aging to the onset and progression of Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. One of the big problems with Alzheimer's and dementia is a decrease in blood flow to the brain. The research in this lab is looking at rapamycin, which seems to restore blood flow to the brain. With aging, um, blood flow to the brain is decreased and our studies show that rapamycin can increase blood flow to the brain and preserve memory during aging. Most of our studies are conducted on the mice because we study Alzheimer's disease and one of the key components of Alzheimer's disease is cognitive impairment. So we want to see if the interventions that we, we come up with in the lab also restore memory function as well as the blood flow in the brain. It turns out that aging is not about wear and tear. Aging is regulated exactly like your blood glucose is. So essentially there are um, biology that we can understand. So this is the Morris water maze. Um, it's a circular tub filled with water and there's a platform that's hidden one centimeter below the water surface. And so the mice have to um, remember the location for this platform using cues around the room in order to find the platform successfully. And this is the equivalent of um, finding your car in a busy parking lot, remembering where you parked. Okay, so this mouse is 18 months old and he has not been treated with rapamycin. Put him in facing the wall. Oh. So you can see he had a little bit of trouble finding the platform. Okay, so this mouse is also 18 months old um, and he has been treated with rapamycin. So we're gonna do the same thing, just drop him in facing the wall. Now what is the goal of the mouse? Why, why does the mouse want to find the platform? Well, they want to get out of the water. They don't really like swimming, um, but they'll do it because uh, they know that they need to find the platform and then, you know, I'll pick them up off of the platform. So what, um, the process that you haven't seen is training them every single day. So their time in the pool is limited to 60 seconds each okay. time. And if they don't find the platform, then um, I guide them over to the platform and let them rest there for about five seconds and just kind of get their bearings and learn where the location of the platform is. And then I pick them up off of the platform and bring them back over here to the warming lamp. And what we've consistently shown is that rapamycin treatment is able to restore and prevent these memory impairments from occurring in these animal models. What are some of the things we should be doing you know, with, with our lives, with our diet, with, with the way we live that, that might help us. Very important. The effort proportional to where you are in exercising and social interactions and in keeping, that's very, very, very important, and keeping your mind open to novelty and learning new things and what is called environmental enrichment or continuing learning, et cetera, et cetera. And, but activity and social context and engagement, yes. those are fundamental.